Good day and welcome. My name is Michael John Horniak. I'm the inventor of Lightmate here, world's coolest new multimedia production tool. If you want to know more about our uh, software, please go to lightpainthere.com. That's H-I-R. And um, if you want to get in contact with us, click on the contact button. We're going to be uh, updating the about section here. It's been a week right now something there and you can check out our gallery we've got a bunch of images that were made with light paint here uh, there's a whole bunch of different galleries there and you can also click the donate button if you'd like to help support this project uh, <clears throat> so first of all let's see if we can get back to the light paint here window this is the reloaded and this is the graphical user interface for VJ which is one of the programs that um, Light Paint here utilizes. And give me a second, get a lot of programs open. <coughs> there we go. So we're recording the whole screen right right now. And uh, <coughs> currently I've got the program set up so that it does 1024 by 768 or 64480. One of the cool things you can do with light paint here is add real-time effects. Right now, we have uh, a normal overlay, which allows us to switch between two cameras, which is kind of cool. And uh, what we can also do is add extra effects. There's 20 slots right now. And so, for example, out of the 300 filters, Take you a little while to get to um, get familiar with all of these. We've got a hue and saturation, for example. Now I can change the intensity, so from popping bright colors down to grayscale. You can also shift the hue real time. And what else can we do? Uh, tons of other cool effects mirror, uh, saturation, gamma, <coughs> and there's also this section here for controlling the camera. So there's the brightness. It's really sunny right now. And we can adjust the contrast as well. So you can get a whole bunch of really neat looking up effects. You can also control the hue from here. It's a little bit slow, but it's uh, because I'm recording such a large desktop area. Light Paint here has its own capture system. Uh, uses FFmpeg and GST Launch, which are both open source software that uh, allow you to capture a desktop. Uh, one of the cool features of Light Paint here is that you can record the music. So this is an open source uh, music player. DJ program called Mix, and there's a band called Zed the Music Open Your Mind, and I'm just going to play a little bit of that to show you how you can fade in nice audio to your videos. So here we are, we still got a microphone live, and uh, recording a video with a nice purple face. What else can we do? Well, we can keep adding different layers of video here. So let's go to channel 2. Telling us small dreams. Selling us small dreams. So now we've got one here. I know it's overdone, but it's still a cool effect. that effect or something else. Let's just shut the music a bit. If you like that song, go um, do a search for Zed the Music, Open Your Mind. And so here we are, beautiful New Denver, BC. Blessed to have such a sunny day here. And uh, let's do an effects reset. Mm, oh, I didn't want to do that, but I did it. That's cool. 
So now switch back to these different uh, tabs and you can switch between camera sources and there's a little bit of a delay that we're working on figuring out. <coughs> we can do other cool things like import uh, video files. We can uh, convert images to video so that they can be brought into Light Paint here for remixing. Um, <coughs> we've got uh, Reloaded here, which is the full user interface for the BJ. You can access that from the Light Paint here menu. And let's see, click on the sample bank. Yay, crashed it. Oh, wonderful still recording this and we're going to pause for a second technical difficulty okay we're back so to launch light paint here you just go drop down to the terminal or uh, double click the icon and type LPHIR with a capital H and an R the HIR is short for hyper interactive reality which is a virtual reality system we've been working on for 30 years and um, Light Paint here is actually um, a side project that was inspired by this virtual reality research that I'm working on. If you want to know more about that, send me an email. I'd be glad to answer any questions. But the focus here is a Light Painter. So come uh, here, you press the C key, you get the controls. Right click on the screen, left click, and you get to 1024. Now we can start putting the video filters on again and let's try some very nervous. Oh, that is square blur. There's uh, over 300 effects right now and <clears throat> it's going to take a while for you to explore them. But what's cool is you can do, like I said before, multiple layers of effects. And anyway, it's a lot of fun. Let's just hit effects re reset here. Back to the camera controls. I already demonstrated some of that. And we've got recording options. For example, you can flip uh, the screen horizontal, flip it vertical. Um, and you can record um, a microphone. You can also follow the mouse so that um, the screen will run the capture. And a bunch of other controls here. We've also got some special filters which are neat. This is a uh, real time blur. There's another form called a median blur. It's a little slower but a little more artistic. At uh, any point, if you want, you can hit the spacebar to freeze an image and uh, left control to save. Spacebar again, we're back live. And let's take out the medium blur. It's a little bit slow. There's a neat one on here called coherence filter that a lot of people have fun with. And if you turn that on, it turns me into like a Van Gogh or something, eh? See the nature in the background. You can make thick lines or thin lines. And if you pose and hold still, there you go. And you can save an image. If you want to load an image, then just go to the pictures directory. Uh, I was just go and take off the coherence filter. This uh, interface that you're looking at right now is uh, just temporary. It's um, <coughs> development mode, and in the next month to three months, we're going to be improving and enhancing this interface, making it um, a lot easier to use, a lot easier to understand, uh, adding new features, and uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. If you want to know more about our website, it's lightpainthere.com, and where did you go? That's right. So, lightpainthere.com. Check that out. We've got a uh, contact section if you want to get a hold of us. 
uh, we'd be glad to answer your questions and um, <clears throat> good to say that this uh, software is really really amazing and it's going to be a lot of fun for people who are into education people who are into art people who are into producing videos uh, it's great for doing YouTube videos, and uh, in this case, we're using it to do uh, our funky crowdfunding campaign, which isn't all that funky. It could be funkier, but I've done like a million takes here, and this thing just has to get launched because we want to see what you do with light paint here. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna leave you with a couple of images and um, a slideshow of some images that were done in light paint here. And uh, if you want to know more, see some other cool videos of what Light Paint Here can do, go to lightpainthere.com. All right, have a wonderful day. I love you very much. And um, for the slideshow, let's uh, go with a little music. Everything is clear by Sheb, I believe uh, B B B E Sheb. Uh, this is Creative Commons music, and um, enjoy the slideshow. We'll um, hopefully be talking to you soon. Have a nice day. Okay, and so that's been the demonstration. Um, I know I could have said a lot more there, but uh, we just want to launch this thing and get this out of here and see what kind of beautiful creations you people will make. Looking forward to meeting you all. Have a great day.